Staff breaking news coming down within the last hour and a half or so. Rochester police and the Monroe County Sheriff's Office have released body worn camera footage of the fatal shooting in the Park Avenue neighborhood in Rochester from earlier this month. This is the shooting on Barrington Street, March 20th. RPD officers and Monroe County Sheriff's deputies shot and killed 35 year old Brendan Burns of Rochester. We want to warn you some of what you're about to see may be disturbing to watch. Natalie Kuchko joins us now in the news room with more on those images. Natalie. We have been waiting for this footage to see if it in fact lines up with what police told us directly after that shooting that Burns was threatening them with a shotgun before he was shot multiple times. Police say that shooting followed a foot chase in which a sheriff's deputy shot at Burns while he ran away from officers with a knife. Again, this footage may be disturbing to some. The video shows what happened in the backyard of a home on Barrington Street. RPD says two of its officers were involved, one of whom works undercover. Their identity is being protected in this footage. Here are the moments during the altercation. I don't know what I'm looking at. Hey, get your hands up! Don't pick it up! Don't pick it up! Drop it right now! Just stop! Get on the ground! Put the gun down! Let me shoot you! Now, prior to this, on the same day as the fatal shooting, police say Burns was seen driving a vehicle that was potentially linked to two other shootings. Police say he displayed a hunting style knife when confronted by officers. Investigators said Burns threatened deputies with the knife and ran the from the scene. Now, the attorney general's office is investigating this case as they do with all officer involved shootings. While that happens, we're told the officers and deputies involved in this incident will remain off the road and are being assigned to administrative work. Meantime, a spokesperson from Rochester's Police Accountability Board tells us tonight that they are investigating this case as well. In the newsroom, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.